Hey guys, Mike here at Amish Tutorials and welcome back to a new modeling video. Alright, well today we're going to do a special request. I received a question whether I could show you guys how to model a needle and thread. Okay, um, kind of a special request, but nevertheless it can be interesting from a modeling perspective. Okay, so we're going to start with our needle. For that we're going to go into our modeling menu and under polygons we're going to take a simple polygon cube. Okay, we're going to start to pull that out until we roughly have the length that we need okay and then we're going to go in and we're going to go to insert edge loop tool option box make sure you have single setting going on and at the end here that's about the section where we're going to create the eye for the needle we're going to Q on our keyboard click that out right click go to object mode and hit three to preview smooth like so okay we're gonna hit one to go back and we're gonna hit r and we're gonna stretch it out quite a bit more hit three again that looks better all right i want to go back now in this area back here that's where we want to have the eye of the needle so what we'll do is we'll right click at our vertex take these vertices and we're just simply gonna scale them out just a little bit and this guy here let's scale that one down just a bit and it's important when we smooth this guy out that at the end here we still have four or still have a quad okay so then we're going to go to the top view and what we're going to do here is we're going to go to Injured edge loop, option box, multiple, we'll do two, and we'll add them right there. And then we're going to hit Q on our keyboard, and we're going to close that out. Okay. And I don't want the additional edges here, so I'm going to right click, go to edge, shift, drag, select these edges. Hang on. So drag, select, and shift, drag, select that, and hit control, delete to get rid of them. We're going to hit 4 for wireframe mode so we can see what's going on. There we go. All right. And then from here, what we're going to do is we are going to right click at a face, select that face and that face, go to edit mesh and extrude. We're going to hit R. We're going to push that in to about there. And then we're going to push it in like so. And that is exactly the shape that we want. Not too far. Let's see how far we can go here. Okay, let's have a look from the top. Hit 4 for wireframe mode. Yeah, that looks fine. Okay. And then we're going to hit delete to open that up. Now we need to close those gaps in there. So for that, we're going to zoom in, we're going to right click, we're going to go to edge and we're going to select and shift select, go to edit mesh and bridge. Yeah, that's fine. We're going to take that one and that one and hit G to repeat last command. Take that one and that one, hit G once again. And then at the top there, that one and that one, and hit G once again, okay? So what we're going to do next is we're going to right click go to object mode, and we're going to hit 3 to preview smooth. And there you have our needle. Let's just see what we need to do here at the end. Hit 1 to go back, okay, we need to take out these edges here. Okay, so we're going to select both, hit Control, Delete to get rid of them. All right, let's try that again. Three to preview smooth. Much, much better. Okay, so that's a preview smooth. So we're going to hit one to go back. We're going to go up to Mesh and Smooth. And let's have a look. We'll do two in the subdivision. Fine. OK, 
Okay. So now the next part is first to uh, scale this guy down a bit. I have to zoom in, W to move it. And let's create a section of thread that we then pull through the needle, okay? So for that, we're gonna go to our top view and we're gonna go to create curve tools. Come on, it's lagging for some reason. I'm not sure why. And there we are. We're gonna hit CV curve tool. We're gonna zoom in. Hit five. Okay, now we know that our opening is somewhere around here, so we're gonna just start to click here. Not quite sure what the lag is there. All right. Let's just drag that in here. Okay, and we'll hit enter. Now that's not very smooth, so we're gonna right click and go to control vertex. And let's just take these vertices and kind of smooth out the uh, appearance a little bit. Yes, that looks fine. And then what we need to do is we need to make sure that this section here will go through the needle. And it looks like it does quite nicely, actually, which is good. So what we're going to do next is we're going to make sure that everything is sitting on the plane the way it should. So we're going to take this guy and we're going to bring that up. And then from this view, We're going to hit E and we're going to rotate it just slightly. Hit W to bring that down like so. And now we need to make sure that our thread, right click at control vertex and take that will actually go through our needle. Okay, that's a bit high up. Just bring that down a little bit. Okay, so now that we got that, we need to create our thread. So for that, I'll take a polygon cylinder. It's a little bit big, as you can see. R to scale down. We'll set uh, caps to zero. And we'll do, yeah, 20 is fine on subdivision. Okay, I'm gonna zoom in. I'm gonna right click, go to face. Drag select all of that and delete it and just keep the top face here. All right. Now I'm going to switch to my top view. Hit W and bring that towards my starting point. I have to zoom in. And let's see here. We will kind of move it in a bit closer for, for wireframe mode. There we go. Then I'm going to hit F to zoom in, E to rotate, and hold down J to snap to 90 degrees. There we go. Hit W to pull back a little. So that in itself is okay, but it's probably way too thick. So we're going to go to modify and center pivot. We're going to hit R. We're going to scale that way, way down. And that looks more realistic I think we're gonna right click at a face we're gonna shift select the thread here looks like it needs to come in a little bit and there we go all right so we're gonna right click at a face select that face shift select that go to edit mesh and extrude and what we're gonna do is we're gonna increase the division by left clicking and dragging on it. And as we do, you can see that it's starting to look more like a thread. Maybe a bit thick, we'll see. Let's try 300 on the subdivision. Let's see if that's smooth enough for us. Looks like it is, yeah. All right, cool. So now that we have that, 
we're gonna drag select the whole thing right click object mode yep drag select everything we're gonna go to edit delete by type history modify freeze transformation and what I'll do is I'll texture this out in key shot you don't have to but just for the heck of it I got this selected so I'm gonna go to file and export selection he's thinking about it yep let's call this needle FBX I'll save it on my desktop and then we'll jump over to Keyshot and I'll see you in a sec. Hey guys, I loaded up my scene. Uh, I actually just quickly jumped back and applied a color to the thread because I want to apply different types of materials here. So either the needle or the thread needs a different type. So sorry about that. So now that we have that, I'm going to go in and apply some material to it. So in my material tab, I'm going to go into metal. Uh, let's see, metal, and we'll do, I assume these are steel. I'm not a, uh, not very acquainted with uh, needles. <laughs> okay, we'll take this. All right. And then we'll take a cloth for our thread. And we'll take that. And then we'll change the color on that. Let's double click on it. And what we'll do is we'll come on. We'll uh, bring that up to red. Okay. Okay. That should, it's kind of dark red, but it's red. So we need to scale it. I think that's the issue there. So I'm going to double click on this. I'm going to go to textures. I'm going to go down to mapping tool. And we're going to zoom out a little bit. And we're going to start to scale this. I was just wondering why the texture looked so off. That's because of the scale. Gonna have a look now and then. Starting to look a little bit better. That should be good. All right. So let's uh, close that out. Let's set up some lighting and so forth. So we're gonna go to our background. Let's do full white. There we go. Let's go into our environment. Let's try this. Which makes it pop nicely. And I'm even thinking whether, as far as background is concerned, we can use an interior. Uh, let's see. Not the coolest interior, obviously. So we'll not do that. We'll take our studio here. Uh, let's see. Just trying some different things here. Probably, this is probably the best one, okay. So I'm going to go up to uh, lighting. I'm going to select full simulation, which is kind of cool, which makes that red pop nicely. All right. So there's our needle and thread. Um, we're going to quickly set up the render shot. Let's just check lighting here. I'll turn off caustics. Yep. We're going to go to render. We're going to go to the render tab. Let's call this needle and thread. And I'll save this on my desktop. 
I'll do a preset of 1280 by 720 in 300 dpi. Okay, I'll pause the video, render this out, and see you guys when it's done. Well, guys, there you have it. There's our uh, needle, and uh, yeah, it's it's pretty straightforward. I think it turned out okay. So uh, if you have any questions, uh, let me know, and I'll help you if I can. And uh, that said, see you guys in the next video. Okay, bye.